Hey y'all, APG Jamie here, and today we have a little how to make a template, okay, mm -hmm. cause this is something I've been wanting to do, it's been on my list for a while y'all, finally got around to it. Here's the thing, here's my disclaimer before we get too far into the video. I had already done this voiceover, mm-hmm, and somehow or another, I lost that said voiceover, so it's a redo. I don't know. I don't remember too much about the specifics of the video, other than it took me a couple of times to get the uh, CD envelope the size I wanted. I am using a file folder for my template, okay? And I have uh, taken apart, otherwise unglued, a uh, store-bought one. You know, they're okay, but y'all, they're so thin and flimply. Flimply? That's a new word. Feel free to use flimply. Flimsy. And um, so I wanted, I wanted a template out of the uh, Manila file folder, and I wanted sturdier... CD envelopes, because I like them. I like the size. Okay? You can make them whatever size you want. In hoots. Tracing around it, because, mostly because I want my flap on the f uh, to fold over to the front instead of folding over to the back. I mean, you know, you can, you can do whatever kind of templates you want, fold in whichever way you want to. And, um, in this instant, I can make the flap even bigger. My first template here, y'all, mm -mm, it came out the wrong size, which I still, even now, find confusing on account of I kept the pencil line. Therefore, it should have been at least the pencil line bigger than the original. But no, it came out too small. When I try to put a CD in it, it don't fit. It don't fit, y'all. So, as you see, I'm cutting out and I confuse it to myself. And I'm like, oh, I want my flap on to flap over towards the front, but not cover the window. You know what I mean? Nah, I mean. Yeah, I guess that's old terminology. I think it's still from the 20s, though. Any hoots. So, uh, in order to make folding a bit easier, and because it's not actually a measurable size per se, yeah, I am using a ruler to help guide my scoring on the scoreboard, okay? And I didn't necessarily cut real straight either, so, you know. I know my how-to is kind of like, what did she do it? How can she even say that's a how-to when she don't even know what she's doing? Well, you know, because it is. I titled it that way, therefore it is that way. And because it is Manila, I do want to definitely uh, use score, score, scoring to help ease the folds in. And um, so that's what I'm doing. Okay? Okay. Okay, I, I, don't, I don't know. So I'm trying to make my corners, inside corners, kind of somewhat pretty-ish. See, here we go. Folding it up, folding over the little edges and all that. You can actually put your edges on the inside if you want to, or the outside if you want to. I kind of like them on the inside. On account, it leaves a smoother, in my opinion, it's just my opinion, y'all, uh, a slightly smoother look on the outside. But of course, if you're cut well, we're gonna make we're gonna make these out of pretty scrapbook paper, y'all. We don't have to cover these unless we want to. Okay. Okay. So there we go. We have our first envelope. Now, I have. Oh, we're gonna round some corners. I have some circle dies that are the approximate, not exact, y'all. It ain't no exact measurement of typical, typical, I guess it depends on the brand, uh, size of the CD envelope 
window. You don't even have to put a window in if you don't want to. But any hoots. So I'm going to use a die to cut my circle. But you can use a circular shaped thing such as my little baron, my handmade baron sitting here to make a circle. Okay? It's kind of hard to find the center. Just saying. Even with the die, it's still kind of hard to find the center. I wanted my little uh, flap just a little bit longer. Okay? Like I said, I want it so that it flips, you know, flips over to the front and doesn't cover the window. So, you know, it's kind of like, oh, I have so many. Want this is why I'm making a template because I want heavier paper. I want my flap on the front and I want to hide my, you know, fold over edges and all that. So this does fit on a regular letter size piece of paper here in the US of A. And here I centered it, but it sure looks way wrong, doesn't it? So I'm still eyeballing it because you know I'm an eyeballer at heart. So we went and we die cutted it. And now here's our paper we're going to make it out, out of. And, you know, here again, I'm going to be, you know, tracing around it with my pencil. And I know I, I sped up this video a lot. I'm not sure if I cut out too much. I don't remember, y'all. It's just like, you know, two weeks. I don't know when this was. It's been a while, y'all. Then I realized, oh, my flap is too too much. It's going to cover my window. I don't want to cover my window. And you know, when you make these yourselves, you can put your flap at the top. You can put your flap at the bottom. You can just put it on the side if you want to. You know, you're the boss of your template. And here I am. I traced it. Cutting it out. Trying to hurry up. I don't really cut this fast, y'all. I'm a slow cutter. Like a slow reader. Type too fast for me, y'all. We're rounding our corners. Because we kind of want it to be, you know, somewhat prettyish. So, I'm trying to match those up. It doesn't matter. They're going to be on the inside. I don't know why I'm fiddling with it. I'm like, oh, well, let's just go ahead and do that on our template, too. I'm going to make another template. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I show you that part. I probably don't because you see this one and it is essentially the same. Here again, I'm scoring, but now I have more better, uh, you know, a measure here. And I'm sliding it so that I can score in the correct place to fold over the little flippy flaps that are going on the inside that you can't see. Okay. So it's a little bit better going to fold it all up. Oh, we're going to die cut it first, probably. Be my guess. Oh, we're going to, oh my gosh, we're going to cut it with the scissors. Oh, see, I'm just showing you, you can cut it with the scissors if you want to. It's not exactly smooth. Well, mine wasn't exactly smooth, but you know, I guess you get what you pay for. <laughs> so, this is sped up. I know I'm still going kind of slowish, but believe me when I say I cut real slow. Yeah. Well, you got to when you fuss the cutting like that, okay? I'm like, well, you know, it's all right. It's all right. So we're now we can ink it. See, another reason why if if you make your own, you can ink around that little window before you put your window in there. And you can use whatever stuff you want to. You want to put tissue paper in the window? So that it's translucent -y. Or you know the cracker or the cereal box liners. Oh, that would make a nice window too, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Kind of obscure, but not totally. So you don't always have to use the clear packaging to make a clear window. Just saying. Of course, I do in this video. But, you know, that's because I'm just now thinking of it. Because sometimes I'm a little slow. Slow cutter. Slow thinker. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it takes me a while. I was going to tell you of a joke it took me over a year to catch, but I'm not going to tell you that. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm still stunned that I didn't catch it a year ago. So, anywho, we are trimming this on our uh, fancy trimmer there. And you have to be real careful because this, the, you know, packaging cellophane. So, it can be a little slidey. 
and I'm kind of measuring because I want it bigger than the window, right? Because we're going to use double-sided tape on the inside of our opening to stick our, our plastic on there. But you don't want it so big that, you know, it sticks out past your little fold marks because that would just be aggravating us all get out. So I'm going to use this here tape runner, which happens to be too big for this. It's too wide, so we end up with tape sticking out. See, sometimes I'm membering now. I'm membering. I'm not crawfishing. I'm membering. And I think I take, um, you know, one of those uh, eraser things where you can erase the, um, oh, that matting fluid stuff. I don't even know. I can't even think of what it's called. Anyway, I use that, and that does take some of that sticky off. That is some sticky sticky double-sided tape. I got it free in an order last year. And by last year, I mean 2022. I almost said 21. It's not 20. Not 22 now. It's 23. Anywho, now we're just going to use our art glitter glue. It's my second favorite. And we're just, see, we've got our flaps on the inside. So it's, you don't have those flappies on the outside bothering you. And I'm like, oh, I'm so happy with myself. I'm like, yes, that's what I want. I want my flap to come to the front. Mm -hmm. See how those flap to the back? Mm -hmm. See that? See that? Do you see a difference? I had to go fetch a CD. Oh, no, it doesn't fit. Y'all, that blew me away. I so did not expect that. Because then I was cutting it out, I left the lines on there. So it should have been slightly bigger. And that is a die cut. I think it's Stamparia. And I'm putting it in there because I'm like, well, that's just perfect. So now I'm making a little note on here to make it just a little bigger, I think. Is that what I'm saying? Yeah, pr pr probably make it big, bigger on all sides. But I felt like I had to draw an arrow, bless my heart. But we're going to decorate this one anyway because we are so not going to let it go to waste. So we have this here dog. He was left over from something. I think he had, you know, he was a paper doll. I think he had a man attached to him and I cut the man off. I don't know. It seems like I kind of remember that from another one. And I thought, well, let's put some wings on the dog. I like these translucent wings, y'all. So I'm looking and I'm digging and I'm looking and I'm digging and I'm digging and I'm looking <laughs> as if I needed to tell you what I was doing. It's obviously you can see and I so should have cut some of this stuff out. My goodness. But obviously I wanted you to see me flip it flopping all around. And that is a couple of packages of the translucent wings. Um, I'm real sure I got them on sale. Or maybe, I don't know, probably not Clarence. But I'm sure I got them on sale. <sighs> Y'all know me. Mm -hmm. Me and my cheap old pocketbook. Mm -hmm. So I have two of them. Because, you know, he's got wings on both sides of his back. You just can't necessarily see it. But we're going to put both of them on there anyway, because I'm like, oh, he needs he needs a pair of wings, one for each side. And I am using, I believe it is diamond glaze. There is a list of ingredients in the description box. If it's not complete and you question me as to what I used, I will do my best to answer your question. If you ask it, okay? And then I wiggle it around because I want you to see that there are two pairs of wings, you know. Because, yeah. Hey, animals can have wings too. We put them on people. Why can't we put them on dogs? Don't be looking at me like that. You lost your mind. You know, you can't lose something you don't have to begin with. So now we're going to use a washi tape. Y'all know that's one of my goals this year. Not a resolution. A go. It's to try to use my washi tape. It really aggravated me when I got one out last year and went to use it. And it was just stuck, stuck, stuck to itself. And when I got it pulled it loose, it wouldn't stick at all. Well, I had to use glue, but then, you know. Anyway, it was sad. So I'm going to try to use it. I got to quit collecting, y'all. <laughs> Says a Clarence shopper. So anyway, we are using, um sure, it's a Stabilo Oil pencil. 
to add shadow because you know he needs to sit on something and he's going to cast shadow dry hurry up and dry so I found it man what is that oh I think I have a little word caption because y'all know I like my words well obviously I'm kind of worried so yeah I like my words and I'm going to glue him down okay no more, no more. And he's going to be a surprise little tuck spot, y'all. I like those little tuck and hidden spots and junk like that. See, yeah, my little flap doesn't cover, but it won't stay down because it's heavier paper, y'all. So it doesn't want to stay down. So I'll, you know how you put, typically they put those little circles and then you just catch the lip of your, your envelope flap, envelope flap, depending on how you pronounce it, underneath the little the little thing so that it'll hold it shut. Well, you could always put a paper clip on it too. A fancy paper clip, y'all. Could make a fancy paper clip. So, uh, and, and my word was on cardstock, but I wanted it to be just a little bit heavier because now it's going to have to co hold down this cardstock because it's scrapbook paper, but it's still of that cardstock weight, you know. Not heavy, but, you know, sort of heavier than regular copy, printer paper, whatever kind of paper you want to call that now so we're going to glue that on there any day any day eventually probably oh I decided well maybe if I bone fold her it, it's not a real bone you know smash it down some more and I'm like well where are we going to put our little word caption is that going to hold it is that going to work I'm like well I decided that would work so we're going to put a little glue on there just a little line just at the bottom because we want it to hold our flap down, okay? Now, of course, you could all, always put those little Velcro dots on there, put a little magnet on there. Like I say, use paper clip. You know, y'all much smarter than me a lot of times, and y'all really bring it to town, I tell you what. Y'all dress up and get real fancy. So now I got to try to tuck it in there. You want it to dry mostly first. And I thought, well, okay. Well, let's put some diamonds on it. These are those flat... Now, flat back diamond paint and diamonds. You know, they're not the the translucent gem looking diamond. Well, they do look like gem. Anyway, they're opaque. That's what I'm trying to say. Opaque, that means not necessarily see-through-ish. Okay? So, we need to put those on there. And that's a girl dog. I hope it's a girl dog. It's a girl dog now. We put a little pink doolaller on, on their collar. Then I made a bigger temperlet. Okay. I didn't waste your time showing you. I went through the exact same process and made a bigger temperlet. And this time I put a little thumb notch up there above, you know, my little uh, window. And yes, some silly person grabbed the exact same tape runner that's actually too wide. Again. So we got to mess with all that extra sticky. Oh, like, oh my gosh, did I really? So, you know, it happens, okay? All right. Just try, trying to get it off because it's going to be on the inside of the envelope. I don't necessarily want what I stick in there to be stuck to the envelope. Envelope. See the envelope? Case. No, it's not a case, it's paper. Anyway. So, glue, glue, glue to you, do to you, do. And you could use paper, you know, scrapbook paper, not just card for this. And I did th cut the thumb knot so you can get stuff in and out. See, I was just showing you. See, I put a thumb. See, it's it's a bigger template. You have to take my word for it. Do I show the CD going in it? I don't know. Because on this one, I have another one of those stamp area or stamp area, however you want to pronounce it, things, but it's not round. It happens to be a fireplace. And I thought, well, that fits in the window just perfectly. So, yeah, that's going in there. And, um, y'all, I'm using miscellaneous ephemera. I don't know if I put where I got the ephemera from in the information below, but it's just ephemera. Y'all know I'm a collector, so it could have been from anywhere. And I've got various things that I thought, oh, I like that. And I like, y'all know how I do. I'm like, oh, I like that. And I like that. And I cut my little um, 
weedy flower there. It's, it, I don't know if it's real weed, y'all. Anyway, because I didn't like it sticking out this way or that way. I only wanted it to be a specific, a specific stick out way or a Pacific, depending on if you live near an ocean or not. And we're going to glue that down. I think, y'all, it's just popped in my head, if you couldn't tell. I think this is a much better voiceover than the original one that got lost, corrupted, or <laughs> I just don't even know what happened to it. Any hoopals. So you're not going to be able to see that because that lady's going to be in front of it, so it's okay. And the lady is like on a ticket, y'all. These were Amazon bought. I, I didn't make her. But she's kind of like a ticket. And she's like, oh, yeah, she looks perfect on there. And here comes the war she, because I'm trying to use my war she day. You know, so put that on there. Oh, that looked pretty good. Put some glue on it because we wanted to stay stuck. Cause, you know, war she is a temporary sticky. It is. I don't care what you may think. I don't care what you think. It's a temporary sticky. Okay. So there we go. Yeah, I'm liking that pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Sometimes I, I don't know where I'm going with these things. And sometimes I'm like, yeah, that's what I think I want. I'm kind of doing the outside like I did the other one because I'm like, you know, it looked pretty good. The layout was satisfactory and pleasing to my eye. <laughs> so we're going to kind of do that again. Keep sucking my teeth. What is up with that? Oh, I hope that's not a new habit. Oh, we don't want no new habit. Not like that. Not that kind. Oh, no. That's one of those annoying things. Well, unless you do it and you don't even know you're doing it. In which case, it's just so totally endearing. All right, just trimming up some little things. And I'm like, yes, I just, just making me stinking happy. So here comes our little, uh, you know, catch thing. Okay, okay, mm-hmm, to hold down our little flat, okay, okay, and I might even make another template slightly different so that I can have a bigger flap that may actually stay down, and I decided to uh, double side tape that same tape runner, my fireplace back there so it doesn't slide down or move where I don't want it to move because it's like a background in there so anything we tuck in there we can just pull it out oh photo montage that so got away from me didn't it I even saw it coming how cute that'll work <laughs> yeah that was perfect for this one that's what I thought <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, where do these words come from? They come from the universe, and they enter my brain and exit my fingers into the computer, in which case I print them out, and that's the backs. Okay? See how the, the little flap tucks underneath there? Y'all, I hope y'all make some kind of templates and, and do stuff off your list that you've not done that you really think you want to do. Just go ahead and do it, y'all. Okay? Thanks for watching. And happy arting, y'all.